you um, listen to some afternoon music. And I thought I'd. Whew, it's been a heck of a day. A heck of a day. And uh, I thought I'd reach out to you. Because um, I promised you that. time to do it. Um, let's see, today's content is going to be about um, stop looking for permission to be a genius. You know, I, I, you know, I, I look at what's happening on social media and, and everybody's trying to say, well, one, two, three, pitch. One, two, three, pitch. And, and everybody's following that formula, except very few of us. Now, here's the key to making effective social media. You have to connect with your tribe. You have to connect with your tribe. Connect with your tribe that flows with your vibe. But in order to do that, you have to be authentic. Like it or not, um, Donald Trump did that. He said, this is my vibe. Now, where's my tribe? And they showed up. After the fool, but they showed up. So if you're going to do this social media thing to build your brand, build your business, to build your life, Stop looking for permission. Stop looking for perfection. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. This video platform is showing that there's a lot of versatility and creativity in people. And if anything, TikTok has shown that. Now, the unique thing about TikTok is it has a lot of enhancement tools so that you can do all those special effects. But what's going to happen when that runs out? What's going to happen? See, because if, as, if anything has shown us anything, we as human beings run to the next best thing. The case in point, we place value on some of the craziest stuff. Like a $200 pair of Nikes. It's a darn gym shoe. How do they do that? How do they do that? How do they make you think that a gym shoe created in China is worth $200. And gonna, you're going to go out and spend and say, I have a Nike collection. And then you're going to assign a value to it. And, uh, and it's like, what? It's a gym shoe, people. How are they doing that? You, now you see that what you consume consumes you. What can you consume consumes you. So you think that this stuff is free. No, it's not free. You're the commodity. You're what's for sale. Do you know I haven't watched television since August of 2015? Because I saw it in its infancy. What I see now is just a recreation of what was done when it first started. And it's just going to go through the same iteration process over and over again. Uh, new effects, new stories, but it's the same story. It's the same story over and over. Just different people, different places, different things, but it's always the same story. Now, here's what I'm going to end up with this. I'm going to tell you this right now. What makes a Denzel Washington an Oprah Winfrey, a Warren Buffett, a Mark Zuckerberg, a Bill Gates, what makes them different? They're no different than you. They just had one thing that you don't have. They believe in what they wanted to do. They didn't achieve, they didn't go after their dream and sell it for a paycheck. I'm going to repeat that. Stop selling your dream for a paycheck. See, that's what I did. I didn't sell my dream for a paycheck. 
I didn't. I'm still living my dream. But you're going to have to go on uh, my social media channels to hear the full story. Right now, this is going on Serial Design FX, my digital marketing company. Part of my dream, part of my skill set, part of things that I love to do. I love to do this. Everything you see around me is a part of my mindset, how I program myself to do what I do. Even the music that you heard coming on. And I want to teach you how to find you. I want you to be your authentic self. And you can get here and take that $1,000 Apple iPhone that ain't worth $200. See, they got you with that one too. <laughs> and now, you're gonna, I'm going to show you how to do that and be the person you are. All right? And then tap into the God inside of you. The love inside of you. Because once you connect with the love inside of you and you do what you love, the universe has to respond. You see, most look, the most successful brands are based on the love of some individual's individual talent. You know, when you look at the Mark Jacobs, the Mark Canals, they're the designer. They're doing what they love. But they found somebody else that does what they love. And they say, okay, I, this is what I love. This is what you love. How do we come together and do what we love together? And that's how a brand is built. But in today's world, you can build your own brand if you just sit down with that $1,000 smartphone, turn off that TV. What do you love if you love to cook? Show it. If you love to sew, show it. If you love to make hair, show it. Somebody's going to love it. Somebody's going to want to know how you did it. And they're going to follow you. Some, so if you're really interested in how and where we're going, follow this. Follow my Facebook page. Learn what's really going on. Because somebody's pressed the reset button. I will say that something in the world has pressed the reset button. We're going through some changes that this generation's never seen before. Fortunately, I have. And I'm going to look forward to sharing it with you. Because I went out and bought one of those darn thousand dollar phones. And uh, I'm trying it out tonight, right now. Uh, I'm fixing to turn it off by the remote control. You know, I really love technology. My whole house is, is uh, voice control. And so technology has always been a thing of mine. I've, I've been studied art, commercial art, Art Institute of Chicago, technology. And this is just a culmination of everything of who I am. And I look forward to sharing that with you. Have a beautiful day.